Hi, it's Vicki with Condi Systems Tech Support, and I'm in Corel Draw again today to show you how to use the mesh tool um, within Corel. Uh, it's an interesting tool. It's a fun tool. Basically, it is a, uh, a way of creating a gradient and uh, at the same time um, designing or using graphics in a way where you can uh, blend color. And the mesh tool is an interesting way to um, make things appear real and more detailed. So uh, this is a demonstration of a little flower I have drawn uh, using the mesh tool. I'm going to do something really basic for um, for the video because of um, uh, I just want to give you the basic instruction and the design time uh, as far as um, uh, keeping it simple to begin with. You'll practice this tool and uh, eventually be creating all kinds of uh, different artwork and graphics I hope so uh, let me give you a quick demonstration of how the mesh tool works um, so to get started I'm gonna create uh, let's start with something like a spear a circle and I can create a spear by just uh, uh, using my hotkey which is the F7 key um, or I can click on the spear itself uh, the circle over here and just draw something. I'm going to start with something a little more a little egg shaped and what we're going to do is create maybe one of these um, one of these little no I'm um, sorry little leaves here that uh, I have in this flower. So uh, to do that let's go back and we'll just um, we're going to change this into a Uh, convert to curves and the way we do that is arrange uh, with it selected and then we select convert to curves now when I click this I have these little bars where I can kind of seesaw them and make different shapes so what I did to make one of the um, one of the um, what do you call it I think is a, a it's called a petals like you'd see on a flower is to kind of drop this down like that okay now I have a shape that I can uh, put color into and now I'm ready to click on my mesh tool and my mesh tool is going to be right here where my interactive fill tool is so I'll click that out and uh, and then left click on mesh fill okay and what that does is it gives me all these little um, vertical and horizontal grids in here now I can add grid or take away grid a couple of ways so once I have this mesh tool selected my menu changes to where I can um, do different things within uh, that would affect how the mesh is or how it looks or or the amount of grid that's in it now I can increase my grid here or decrease it as you can see by clicking this up and down for the vertical and horizontal lines now I can create more horizontal lines or vertical lines or decrease or, de or decrease should I say the horizontal vertical lines so now that I have um, I'm just gonna leave it at this this is a good number for me so but if you really want to get real detailed you can actually uh, add more uh, grid in here so you can import more color so also to do it you can double click the space in here just take your arrow key and just double click and you start creating grid so I'm going to do a control Z and control Z is another hot key that um, we're going to um, talk about um, in how to delete or undo something that you've just done so it's kind of like your undo key right here okay so control Z is a hot key on your keyboard so I like to throw all those little tips in there too when I do these videos um, so now that I have a grid created now I'm ready to um, add some color to it um, and in order to do that I come over here to my color uh, my color bar here and uh, I'm gonna choose a color that I can play around with we can I did I did yellow but we can do um, we can do other colors you can do any color actually uh, if you want you just kinda click and drag a color here see how that works um, you just click and drag so you can uh, change colors uh, in the nodes, I'm sorry, in the grids by simply just clicking in the actual um, square 
and then uh, selecting a color like that or you can just click and drag the color so um, either one would work click and drag or create um, or I'm sorry or click within the grid also uh, if you want to add these these right here these little boxes here that you see around here are called nodes and you can add and delete nodes by simply right clicking and delete a node like that which I'm going to do a control Z again because I just wanted to show you how it works or you can add a node you know by just right clicking and add an intersection right here so I wanted to show you that all as well so I'm going to do a control Z so now that I have uh, uh, shown you how to use these blocks and incorporate color so basically what this does again is it creates a gradient and it incorporates color with a smooth transition into the next square beside it so it's a really great feature and I have fun with it because I like to draw different things and um, it does really well with flowers and if you want to give something a lifelike uh, visual like a 3d effect this is also great for that it'll it'll also give things a, a three-dimensional look um, so it's a fun little tool and uh, again um, I hope that uh, you will find it uh, fun as well and if you have any questions or any concerns anything you want to ask me I'm happy to try to answer your questions with Corel draw tools and um, Again, my name is Vicki, and I'm with Condi Systems, and thank you for your time.